Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about career problems. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what are some common dangerous mistakes that you can make within your career as a software developer? So the quick answer is that there's quite a few of them, but I will focus on one of my favorite ones, which is that you you become too, too I'm not going to say opinionated, but I think that that might be the best way to describe it, that you become too opinionated or you become too niched or you become too much of a specialist or an elitist or something like that. Let me explain. So something that you should accept about software development is that it's not just about your ability to write efficient, clean software when it comes to how well you're going to do in this industry. It also comes down to your ability to work effectively with multiple people from different backgrounds. So an example of that would be that sometimes you're going to have to be able to work in a, situ work in a situation where you have seniors, like where you are the least informed person. You need to be emotionally able to deal with the fact that you're not you're not the smartest person in the room you might feel like the dumbest fuck who ever lived as an example this is very common when you're at uni so you need to be able to do that so you need how like, you're just figuring out how do you effectively use such a situation to your advantage and you, how do you avoid causing problems in that environment and the second thing is that sometimes you're going to be the most knowledgeable person but you may not actually be thought of as the most knowledgeable person how about that? Imagine being in a situation where everybody around you thinks that they know better than you and although you are of course convinced that you know best, how do you how do you work in such an environment? How do you deal with that? And then you can be in a situation where people actually look up to you, where they actually believe that you are a master programmer. So how do you leverage this sort of thing to your advantage so that you can actually assist the company in delivering on prospects? Because usually when you're in that sort of expert expert role, it, you, the stakes are you, on you are going to be fairly high. And that's a different sort of stressor because now you're perceived as this master programmer who can do no fault and you're supposed to pretty much not only lead by example, but lead other people. And then you of course have situations where you need to sit in, well, at least I think so, a lot of boring meetings, sitting uh, talking to stakeholders and basically putting them at ease over and over and over, just making sure that they feel like they are understand, you basically need to break things down to a point where an extremely technical field with a lot of complexity be, feels comprehensible to people who have power and influence and money to make decisions on behalf of either your company or a customer or something like that. And you just need to be able to answer every question under the sun that makes them feel like, oh yeah, I kind of understand this, it feels secure. This programmer, this tech person that you're supposed to be makes me feel good about myself or and this situation. I feel like I can trust this person. These sorts of things are only possible if you open up yourself to the idea that you are not alone. You are a social creature working in a social environment and teamwork and management of stakeholder and social interactions are critical to your success. If you go in with the mindset that you know best or that you have like, that you get opinionated to the point where you believe you truly believe that I as an example functional programming is the best thing ever or reactive programming is the best thing ever or object oriented programming is the best thing ever it doesn't matter what it is really then you you get this strong idealistic opinion or this strong sense of identity that is tied into that you know something nobody else knows and it is your job to change their minds not by you know influencing and actually proving yourself through accomplishments or anything like that but rather to convince them with words to just tell them over and over how wrong they are then you are pretty much fucked across the board here. Because the thing is that when you are with a bunch of uh, seniors, even if you read the latest article, latest blog on microservices or micro frontends or whatever you're reading these days, 
and you come in and you say we should be doing this and they shut you down. You can be as frustrated as you want and you can throw a fit and say that they're all farts and they don't know what they're doing but that's not going to get you very far because you don't get them on board. You can be in a situation where you're already, as I was saying, in the where you are already there. Not, but this time it's not just you who think that you are the most intelligent and most knowledgeable person within the room. Now everybody else thinks the same thing and you're all fighting over which approach to do and to, to make. And this is like a horror show for most companies because if all the programmers are doing their own thing, then you can't align on an approach and the code is going to rot even faster. And sometimes you're going to be in an expert position and then your self, self-esteem is going to take a very, very hard hit when you start letting people down. So how are you going to deal with that? So because unless you really are an expert and truly are the most knowledgeable knowledgeable person and even when you are the problem with software development is that it is is that it sometimes is extremely unpredictable so you're still going to have to deal with the fact that some people are going to the veil is going to fall from their eyes and they're going to look at you as just another another mortal at some point so you need to deal with you know you know you need to be able to deal with that and that's usually very hard for people who have a little bit of an ego who are a little bit narcissistic about certain things which is the trait of quite a lot of these people who go on the forums and flame and like just basically call anybody who isn't aligned with them on their opinion about some style of program or some paradigm or some technique or whatever that they're basically idiots and then lastly of course the best part is when you need to deal with someone who is less technically knowledgeable than you but still has more power or more influence or that a stakeholder that you need to deal with in some fashion now that frustration if you if you if you have some type of weird opinionated way of working where you don't like i've heard this before some people are so tied into and engineers get so tied into their perception of themselves that their titles start to become really important you're a principal engineer you're a senior engineer you're some specialized master science bullshit that basic and i've I've, shit you not i've heard this happen where they will start by looking at the other person's title and i shit you not i didn't think that this was true but this person actually stated that oh i'm sorry i don't think you're qualified to talk to me to a customer an engineer who said that to a customer, I don't think that you're qualified to talk to me. Safe to say that uh, we uh, th- that customer w- was just slightly offended. Luckily, it was one of my best friends who was the customer in this in this instance, and he just so happens to be a sales representative who has been working in this field for 15 years, and he has actually picked up some stuff, so he could school that narcissistic idiot uh, into place but had that been one of my engineers I would have at the very least had a very serious talk with that individual immediately and I would even go as far as to say that I would have considered that a str- one strike on the fireable offense scale the this idea that you that some have that you just know better because you are on this journey of discovery where you think that everything that you find is new and hip and cool and better is just you fooling yourself into believing that you're on a different uh, that something's different from for you as opposed to everybody else you see the thing is guys sometimes you do actually know best and sometimes you don't know best and if you're humble enough to actually accept that that is the case then you start to realize that you are mm, you are well, unless you have done something a hundred hundred times, and you can defini- definitely prove that your approach works better than the thing that you are already doing. Then it is a guess. I know it feels hard, but you know all these blogs that you're reading and all these opinions that you're accumulating based on some toy little small project that you're working on. They do not equate into hard life learnings. They equate to a sensation that you know more than you actually do but the reality of the situation is that unless you actually have produced similar results in a similar situation to that which you face you face you don't really have any any proof as to that your approach is better than somebody else so what i want you to take away from this is that one of the most dangerous la- things that you can do when you pro- you're progressing through your career is to get this idea that everybody else is just going to fall into place if you become enough of an expert on something or if you push an idea hard enough. This is not so. 
if you want to truly become perceived as a master programmer, you can not just be an expert of code because that's just one part of it. The other part is that you actually need to stay humble enough because some people do actually get really pompous about their coding skill, but you need to fight that. You need to remember that you truly depend on other people to get to the results that you're after because it's about the results, guys. It's not about your se your self fulfillment in this regard. It's not about your ego. It is about producing results in some type of situation in for some company or for yourself, whatever. Those results are only achievable unless you work uh, completely alone on very small projects. They are only achievable through communication and managing stakeholders and teamwork. These things you have to take seriously. And if you become a person which, where you make these sorts of things tricky, you will actually find that regardless of how, irregardless of how uh, good you are, you might actually not be welcome in pretty much any environment where you can do professional software development because it is a social environment. Have a great day.